Shelley, on this adventure, you are the cultural writer. And as we've traveled all through China, what are your thoughts? Well, I've been surprised by how modern almost everywhere we've gone in China is. And it's been a real mix of the old and the cultural history and the new to me and the modern. So that's been um, surprising and also really, really interesting. What was your biggest surprise being here? The distinguishing differences between each of the cities and how unique each city was. It's incredible how many visit-worthy and traveling-worthy cities there are. We've been in places that are just quintessentially China, where things have not changed in hundreds if not thousands of years. And some amazing architecture, some of the temples that we've been to, and the historical sites. And then you can be in places where you're walking down the street and you might be in Amsterdam, or you might be in Paris. And uh, that was quite surprising. Uh, I've enjoyed seeing all of that type of architecture. I think even in the last four and five years, China has modernized an incredible amount. Culturally, um, what, what was your highlight on this trip? Culturally, I think going to the, uh, the commune at the Great Wall was, was pretty amazing. Commune by the Great Wall mm -hmm. actually has private access to a certain part of the Great Wall, mm -hmm. which is almost a concessionary agreement. Yes. Can you explain that to me? Absolutely. We have basically on property a hidden path, no signage, no nothing, so you really have to find it by yourself or get good advice at reception, where exclusively to hotel guests, you can walk that hidden path, it would take you about 15 minutes, and uh, you would end up on the unrestored, so I'm really the unrestored original part of the Great Wall, as it was for many hundred years now. Once you look over the edge, it's just endless valley and mountain range, and you can see the wall for miles and miles and miles, and af absolutely breathtaking, it really is. It's one of the few spots in China where I felt I was truly alone. Uh, I don't think many people have that experience to visit a part of the Great Wall that is the same as it was a thousand plus years ago with no one else around and it was a really special experience.